Hi guys, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a cook with me and a clean with me. It's been snowing all day, so I'm making a big old pot of chili and I'm gonna be cleaning the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my hair and let's get right into the video. All right guys, so as you can see from this clip, the living room and the dining room are both a hot mess along with the kitchen. So hopefully you get some really good cleaning motivation from this video. What I'm doing right now is I'm going to go ahead and get the ground beef all browned up for my chili. It's been cold outside. A nice big old pot of chili would help us all get nice and warm and filled up. And the boys love it. And it's a really simple meal that I can go ahead and throw together. So you see here getting all my packs of hamburger in there together. I like to make enough chili so that it lasts for all of us. For at least a couple days it's not just a night thing or a one night thing um you see me putting minced onion in there i'm going to do some garlic and some seasoning salt and this will give us at least a couple of days i do have teenage boys um, along with myself and my husband so we all love this and it will last us a couple of days So what I'm doing now is putting all the dishes away from the last time the dishes were washed. And we have this bad habit of just kind of washing the dishes and letting them sit in the drying rack until we need them again. So I'm putting them away so I can get prepared to wash these dishes and let them dry. I also have Carson in the kitchen with me. If you can see off to the side, I'm playing Coco Melon on like an older phone that I have. So if you've watched any of my previous cleaning videos, um, you will know that I have this big pet peeve and I like to wash out my sinks before I wash the dishes. So I do this before and after. I scrub the sinks down and then anything that is dirty or anything kind of like stuck on it, I like to rinse it out so it actually goes down the sink. I don't like flyaway little food particles in my dishwater. It's just like a pet peeve of mine. So I rinse out all the dishes and I put them down the sink. Then any of my silverware, I let them soak in like a big cup or a big pitcher, depending upon what's dirty or what we used in the past. So I'm just cleaning it all up, getting ready for the next step before I fill up the sink full of water and go ahead and knock out these dishes really quick. So now that the ground beef was all browned up and kind of broken down really small, so you see I put it into a big old pot. I've added my black beans and my diced tomatoes. I'm going to add my tomato and basil um, spaghetti sauce or tomato sauce that is actually gluten free. This is a gluten free recipe. Um, so I'm going to make sure that's all out of there and then I'm going to add another can of just tomato sauce and get that well incorporated in there i like to mix and mix and mix because i like things to look like they're supposed to look um so i did black beans i did kidney beans i'm gonna get that all mixed up and incorporated pretty well together and then i did some more diced tomatoes and did not realize when i bought those that they were hot so i only used half the can i know i put seasonings in this before but i love the gluten-free chili mix which has more seasonings in there salt pepper cumin all that jazz so i'm gonna mix that up let that simmer really, really good on the stove and then our chili will be good to go. Ok 
Okay, so I will say that during this cleaning video, Carson was giving me the flux. If you see, I keep shifting over, shifting over <laughs> to my left. It's because I'm adjusting the um, video for Carson and checking on him and giving him snacks. So he was really giving me the flux for this. One thing I like to do is make sure I do all of my cups first. I like to do the cups first and then I'll do like bowls. And then plates after that and then you see i was able to um, put the silverware in there and let them soak a little bit more in that hot water as i'm rinsing all the dishes that's part of the reason like i like to clean the sink first is because i clean the sink i wash the dishes and i sit them on the sink the side of the sink that doesn't have any dishes so i'm just not running water because i have a bad habit of just letting water run that i'm trying to cut so i wash them i put them to the side and then once I have a sink full, I'll go ahead and rinse them off and then put them in the drying rack and I go back to washing more dishes. So that's just kind of like how I like to do it. If you guys do it that way or you have another way that you do it, go ahead and drop me a comment below and let me know what works for you. I like to do my pots and pans last and I still rinse them off or kind of give them a wipe down before I put them in the dishwater. This just, like I said before, it's my preference. I don't like floaties in my water. It kind of feels weird. I'm sticking my hand in there and I don't like my dishwater to become all greasy. So that's another reason I like to rinse the dishes and kind of give it a little scrub before I actually stick it in my dishwater. It just helps me keep my dishwater cleaner and helps me keep the rag from feeling all greasy as well. It helps it last a little bit longer. So this is the last dish before um, I can get ready to go ahead and drain the water out, clean the sink out, rinse the rag out, and get it all cleaned up before I move on to the counters and wiping over the rest of the stuff in the kitchen down. Like I said, I you know if you see my other cleaning videos, here I am again getting ready to wash out the sink. I don't know. I guess there's something about it. It's just kind of therapeutic. I like to do it. I like to keep it all clean. And um, it's just my thing. Let me know if you do that as well and um, what your technique or your process is. And if you don't, let me know why you do or why you don't. I had to move the phone and upgrade Carson to the tablet. So he's got something a little bit bigger to watch. I have put away his little snacks. He likes a little Gerber puffs and things like that. So I'm moving all this stuff away, putting the cereal away, my cookies, my breakfast essential drinks that I told you guys in my other video, how much I love those. So I'm getting that all cleaned up and taken away. And then I'm going to grab my Norex cleaning cloth and Get some hot water and wipe that counter down really, really good. Like I said before, I really am trying not to use harsh chemicals as much as possible. It's 
we get into a habit of using things and not realizing how toxic they are for us. So I'm trying to get into the habit of doing more all natural things. Um, same thing over here. I'm actually getting everything set up over here by the chili. We like to do Cheez-Its or tortilla chips. The tortilla chips and the gluten-free Cheez-Its are over there for me. I got the regular Cheez-Its there for the boys. And then we'll do cheese and sour cream as well for our chili bowls. All right, so now we are on to the dining area. As you can see, I have Carson on my hip. And he, at this point, did not want to be put down. So I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning and organizing organizing with him right here on me. Get a lot of junk mail. How much junk mail do you guys get? A lot of it I wish we just didn't get because it ends up going in the trash anyway. Um, then I got some things I need to put in the recycle bin. My son is coming over there. He's getting ready to set up the things that he needs because he's getting ready to eat his chili. So you got his headphones and his tablet over there as I get the laptop out the way. Um, like I told you guys in my last video, this is a very, very old table. It's probably more than 10 years old and it's been through the ringer. So we need to get a new table. Um, the living room, see, still have Carson. I actually went to Once Upon a Child. So you see on the back of the couch, I have all of those clothes. I don't know if you guys have one in your area, but... It's like a little resale shop and you get stuff for super, super discounted prices. So I got some shirts for $2 and pants for four bucks. Um, really, really worthwhile if that's something that you guys are interested in too. But yes, Carson is walking at 10 months old. Can you believe it? It's so funny. It's awesome to really just watch him evolve and change and be so advanced for his age. It's actually really, really nice to see. So I love it. Um, I'm getting ready to put all the clothes back in the little once in a pond child bag so I can take them downstairs and put them up in the closet and put them in the bins and everything, put them where they belong. I was trying on a few things on him and then they're one of the onesies that I used for some Valentine's Day pictures that I took for him. So I'm getting ready to put all of those up so that we can finish up this cleaning. So if you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And remember to hit that bell so that you get the notifications every time I upload. Um, thank you so much for watching and you can see that the living room is done, the dining room is done, and my 15 year old is actually eating his chili. My chili, I have gluten free farmhouse cheddar crackers, sour cream, and cheese. Thanks so much. See you in the next video.